Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about measuring frequency of signals using an oscilloscope. Now by frequency I mean using a repetitive signal, like a sine wave or a square wave, anything that repeats itself. Probably even video waveforms you could do. And I'm going to show you how to do it on a good old analog oscilloscope, because digital oscilloscopes kind of cheat and do it for you. But these guys, it's a little bit harder, but it's no big deal. Do not worry about it. So I've got my oscilloscope connected to my uh, function generator which I, is not very good but it makes a signal that we can use. So I'm going to turn this on and we can see it's very small on the display so I'll bring that up so it's you want it nice and big in the middle of the display. Now I'm going to adjust the time base until we get a nice good um, display. And this is set to 10 microseconds per division. Now what we have to do is move the trace using the horizontal position knob just so that it's positioned right at the edge of the graticule. And if you bump that up even more, you can you sometimes get an even ac more accurate reading as um, it's easier to read a steep line on the center graticule. So I've got that. It doesn't matter that it's leaving the screen. You can still measure it anyway. So now what I'm going to do is using my position knob, move the trace just so that the leftmost edge lines up with the graticule. And now all we're going to do is count. So we're going to count from here to here. The first rising edge to the second rising edge. Why not from here to here? Because that's only half of a cycle. A full cycle is from the first rising edge all the way to the next rising edge. It's easier to see if I shrink the display because here it's going up, but here it's going down. So we want up to up. So we'll start counting here and I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a bit divisions. This is our eight division right here. And you can see the line is one, two, three, I'd say, sub graticule lines over. So it's point three divisions between here and here, which means it's eight point six divisions between this point and this point. Now it's time to do a little bit of math. So over here on the oscilloscope, we can see it's eight point six divisions for one cycle of the waveform, and one cycle is 10 microseconds per division, because that's what the time base knob is set to. So, what we do is we go over to our calculator here, and we go 8.6 divisions times our 10 microseconds. So it's 86 microseconds. I mean, that's something you can do in your head, but I'm just doing it in the calculator here to show it bit easier. So now that we've got that, we're going to divide that by 1 million. Why are we doing this? Because we want the answer in seconds. A microsecond is one millionth of a second. So it's um, divided by a million to find the number in seconds. Now all we do is we divide 1 by that number, and we get our result in hertz. Now what if we want this in kilohertz? Well that's easy, we just divide it by a thousand, because a kilohertz is a thousand hertz, and we can see it's 11.63 kilohertz or so. If you're really good, it's probably accurate to the second digit, second um, decimal place. If you're not so good, just the first. So I'm going to say, just be safe, but 11.6 kilohertz. Now in the next video, I'm going to show 
a better way to measure this if you have a delayed time base oscilloscope.